Inter TV Veritas stadionilla Interin treenien jälkeen haistelemassa tunnelmaa. Edellinen Lahti-peli meni vähän niin sanotusti penkin alle ja nyt seuraavana vastassa siis JJK Jyväskylässä maanantaina. Inter TV sai haastattelun pari Interin kesikenttä pelaajaa laituri Makumpa Kanchin sekä kesikentän pohjalla pelanneen Filip Njokun ja kerrottiin heidän kanssaan vähän tän hetkistä kautta nykyistä tilannetta ja vähän myös tulevaa JJK matsia. I mean, uh, it's it's tough when you have those kind of games, you know, uh, losing 6-1 uh, in front of your home fans, you know. But uh, we can't let that define us, you know. Uh, maybe you need one day to get it out of your head, because if you if you let it affect you, it can um, affect the rest of your season. Yeah. So uh, as for myself, is behind me, and as for the teams as well, I uh, I think the game. Is behind them. Of course, we're going to use it as a, a learning process. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're looking forward for the next game. Yeah. How about you, Philip? Have you been able to forget the game already? Yeah. From the first day, I forget them because uh, putting them in my head cannot change anything. So from the first, from the last week, I forget the game because. But normally, is this type of game is very hard to forget. But you need to put everything aside and focus to the next game. Because putting that in your head, you may lose concentration thinking about the next game. Um, but for me, uh, the game in playing for me is quite okay. But whenever you play good, then you lost. They don't see anything. They only see the winning side. Yeah. But for now, we're not focusing on the next game. I hope and I believe that uh, we do more better to learn to keep the mistake from the last game. Yeah. yeah. To correct it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you just came out of the training. What kind of atmosphere there is in the team right now? I mean, the atmosphere is good. The atmosphere is very good. Uh, I mean, right now we're just trying to work on our, you know, um, our defending tactics and stuff like that. So, uh, with that being said, you know, we still have to be focused. But uh, the atmosphere is good. I think the players uh, responded very well from, uh, you know, what Fabs told us in the locker room. Try to, you know, keep our heads up and keep on going. So. Yeah. yeah, I agree because um, the attitude in the training is so much aggressive and high standard. But if we can keep the attitude in the training and bring it into the game, our next game, I believe uh, we'll get a victory. But it depends at least mentally, individually, mentally, and as a team, collectively, and as a team, one spirit, no grudges and everything. But if we, be, if we come like a team, as a team and keep the attitude in today's training, I believe we we'll get a good result from now, from the from Monday upwards. Um, my own performance. I mean, in the beginning, just trying to you know get back to form that I was uh, before. Uh, but I think for the last five games or so, I think that form is coming every day more and more. Uh, personally, you know, but it doesn't matter really what I do personally. Uh, the the main thing is um how the team does, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's what I'm here for at the, at the end of the day. But yeah. personally, I think for the last five games, you know, getting better and better and uh, just trying to work to improve it higher and higher until I get to where I was, yeah. you know, especially coming out from 18 months injured, you know, uh, it's yeah. tough to come back to 100%, but uh, I think it's, it's getting there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for my own performance, uh, I cannot see it, but I believe uh, 100% at least, 80% I'm trying uh, from the last um, seven games now. But uh, I believe I need to give more because in my heart I believe uh, I, I have something to give more and everything. But I need to work more toward my performance. But in my performance, I just want to be consistent, but it's not easy. You understand? For some games you have a bad game, some games you have a good game, but I just want to keep the performance throughout this last six games to go higher because I don't know my future yet. Yeah. I can be here, I cannot be here. I never know what will happen, but I still keep the performance and the strong fit. For me personally, not really. Uh, I, I live in Denver, so we have this kind of weather. Uh, but for me personally, it doesn't affect at all. 
mean, the weather is getting bad. At the end of the day, we still have to play football. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it doesn't matter really. Yeah, how about you? How are you, Mr. Patron? <laughs> For me, I'm not, uh, I'm not used to this. Yeah. Wind and the cold, I'm not used to this, but uh, whenever I start feeling cold, I have some, it's not an injury, but like some joint pain and other stuff, but I don't have a choice than to get used to it. Yeah. But before I get used to it, maybe before I get warm in the game, or training, this kind of weather, maybe like 20 minutes, like warming up but before i know i feel i feel nothing about the weather but i think time time goes on i'll get used to it but i started get, get used to it little by little because yeah. where, where i come from it's too much the sun there is too much it's yeah. hot yeah. so i believe if time goes on i have a choice i'll get used to it uh my goals rest of the season uh score some more goals you know uh try to help the team win as many games as possible and um, you know, stay healthy. Yeah, these are my goals. Yeah, yeah. Philip? Yeah, same thing. Uh, my goals are uh, to help the team to fight individually, teamwork. But whenever I'm doing anything, I like to give my best to give everything to make the team be in the top level and other stuff. But my goals for the team, for the for the remaining six games, I hope and I believe we can get like. If it's possible and nothing is not, everything is possible, five wins, four wins, to be to end up in a better level. And my goal is exactly what Max said is more important: to be healthy and injury-free. That is more important. Yeah. To continue the future. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next game is against uh, Yi Yigo. They are last in the in the series, but still they are doing have done quite well. I think it's not going to be an easy game. Or what do you think? I think the rest of the season, uh, no game is going to be easy game. You know, uh, as we know, you code they uh, they've been doing well so far, and um, they're trying to avoid to get relegated. Yeah. So they're going to give everything they have, 110 percent, and uh, they don't have nothing to lose. So I think this is the most dangerous thing actually yeah. to play against team that are last place, and uh, they are doing quite well right now. So it's going to be a tough game, but yeah. I think we are up for the task. Uh, we can approach it like they are the last team on the table. We have to approach it, you know, like, okay, it's going to be a tough place. And over there, the field is not the best field. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be a tough game for yeah. sure. But we are we are ready for it. Alfili, yeah, for what me, do you know about uh, Yeah, For me, every game is a big game. Yeah. And each game you approach is a big game. Uh, for me, I take all team as one. I don't look any team as a small team or compare myself with the players and everything. I think this is more one of the hardest teams you can play in the league for now, especially when the league is getting end. You feel more pressure and you need to give all and they need to give all and everything. But I need I think we need to approach the game with full mentality and full fight spirit. Um, for Iyoko for now I think you have they've been having a lot of confidence for the past games because they are doing good and great. Uh, and they have the advantage over there, but I believe that the match will not be easy. But at the end of the day, you take the points. That is my. Opinion. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. See on Monday how that will go. Thanks a lot, guys, right. for the interview. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it, man. Thanks. Eli Kasina, siis jätket kävivät vähän läpi. Lahti ottelua hyvin ollaan päästy yli yli pelistä. Treeneissä on edelleen tosi hyvä tunnelma. Aggressiivista peliä treeneissä halutaan tuoda sitä vielä kentälle lisää. Tulevasta JIK-matsista Matsista molemmat olivat sitä mieltä, että todella tärkeä matsi kyseessä. Vaikea lähteä pelaamaan JIKta vastaan Jyväskylä on huono kenttä. Ainakin paljon huonompi kuin Veritastadion. Vaikeat olosuhteet ja todella kova taisteleva joukkue. Molempien mielestä Interin pitää ehdottomasti antaa kaikkensa siinä matsissa. Saa nähdä miten käy. Toivottavasti sieltä napsuisi muutama piste edes loppukauden saldoon Interille. Mamma 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 mam